My name is Katherine Stevens. I'm a student at Belmont University, and today we're going to be reading one of my favorite books, The Little Engine That Could. Little Engine That Could, written by Waddy Piper and illustrated by Lauren Long. Chug, chug, chug. Puff, puff, puff. Ding, dong, ding, dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train, for she had such a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled full of good things for boys and girls. There were toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. There were dolls, dolls with blue eyes and yellow curls, dolls with brown eyes and brown hair, and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. And there were cars full with toy engines, airplanes, tops, jack-in-the-boxes, picture puzzles, books, and every kind of thing boys or girls could want. But that was not all. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys and girls to eat. Big golden oranges, red-cheeked apples, bottles of creamy milk for their breakfasts, fresh spinach for their dinners, peppermint drops, and lollipops for after-meal treats. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily. Then, all of a sudden, she stopped with a jerk. She simply could not go another inch. She tried and tried, but her wheels would not turn. What were all those good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do without the wonderful toys to play with and all the good food to eat? Here comes a shiny new engine, said the funny little clown who jumped out of the train. Let's ask him to help us. So all the dolls and toys cried out together. Please, shiny new engine, won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or any good food to eat unless you help us. You see the train down there? But the shiny new engine snorted. I pull you? I'm a passenger engine. I just carried a fine big train over the mountain with more cars than you ever dreamed of. My train had sleeping cars with comfortable beds, a dining car where waiters bring whatever hungry people want to eat, and a parlor car in which people sit in soft armchairs and look out of big plate glass windows. I pull the likes of you? Indeed not. What a mean train. Look at the grumpy face. And off he steamed to the roadhouse where engines live when they are not busy. How sad the little train and all the dolls and toys felt. The little clown called out, The passenger engine is not the only one in the world. Here's another engine coming, a great big strong one. Let's ask him to help us out. The toy clown waved his flag and the big strong engine came to a stop. Please, oh please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the good little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the big, strong engine bellowed. I am a freight engine. I have just pulled a big train loaded with big machines over the mountain. These machines print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I am a very important engine indeed. I will not pull the likes of you. and the freight engine pulled off indignantly to the roadhouse. The little train and all the dolls and the toys were very sad. Cheer up, cried the little toy clown. The freight engine is not the only one in the world. Here comes another. He looks very old and tired, but our train is little. Perhaps he can help us. So the little toy clown waved his flag at the dingy, rusty, old engine stopped. Please, kind engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. 
Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the rusty old engine sighed. I'm so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. And off he rumbled to the roadhouse, chugging, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Then indeed, the little train was very, very sad, and the dolls and the toys were ready to cry. But the little clown called out, Here's another engine coming up, a little blue engine, a very little one, but maybe she'll help us. The very little engine came chug-chugging merrily along when she saw the toy clown's flag, and she stopped quickly. What's the matter, my friends? she asked kindly. Oh, little blue engine, cried the dolls and toys, will you please pull us over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and all the good boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Please, please help us, little blue engine. I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. They use me only for switching trains in the yard. I've never been over the mountain. But we must get over the mountain before the children awake, said all the to dolls and the toys. And the little engine looked up and saw the tears in the doll's eyes. And she thought of the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain who would not have any toys or good food unless she helped. And then she said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can and hitched herself up to the little train. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged, and slowly, 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 they started off. The toy clown jumped aboard, and all the dolls and all the toy animals began to smile and cheer. Puff, puff, chug, chug, went the little blue engine. I think I can, 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 I think I can. Up, 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 faster and faster and faster and faster the little engine climbed. Until at last they reached the top of the mountain. Down in the valley lay the city. Hooray, hooray, cried the funny little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy because you helped us, kind little blue engine. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say, as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could, 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 I thought I could. And so she did. The end. I really like this book because it teaches us that even when something looks like it might not go our way, or we feel like giving up on something, or we get stumped, that if we believe in ourselves and we really push hard that there's a way that we can make it through. You just think you can. You gotta go, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And you'll get there. Thanks for joining me.